Hey guys, Austin, and welcome to another episode of Minecraft Pixel 1 Season 2 here on the channel. And today, guys, we are going to be doing something exciting. Now, apparently I haven't done this yet in this series. It's been how many episodes, and I have not accomplished this task yet, but we're going to be doing it today. You guys asked for it in the comments. We are going to be evolving a Magikarp into a Gyarados, so we're going to uh, get that out of the way right to start off with and um i don't know how much of the episode it's going to take up us doing but i mean that's the primary goal of the episode so it doesn't really matter but if you guys have been enjoying minecraft pixel one season two on the channel smash that like button if this video can get to a whopping 10 likes not only will i greatly appreciate it but it also shows you guys want to still see this series continue that being said let's get right into it so what i wanted to do first off is grab all the magikarp that i have caught thus far and ivy check each and every one of them just to get an idea of uh, what's the best IV'd one, and then we'll use that one to uh, do our little thing here. So, I believe I have, yeah, five Magikarps. Let's check each and every one. So, IV's one, two, or actually four, five, and six. So, actually, one of the first two are um, the same. So, let's check both of them real quick. So, they both have Swift Swim. Their moves, well, they're both Splash. Um, and their stats... Are the exact same that's right because for some reason we were able to get the exact same magikarp um i don't know how this happened but we were somehow able to get the exact same magikarp uh, multiple times over i don't know how that happened but what we're going to be doing now is actually getting rid of one of our pokemon and i've already chosen it to be a uh, swampert and the only reason for that being is he is a water type already so it wouldn't make sense to have two water types on our team. So uh, we're going to grab Magikarp. And just to kind of prepare for him to evolve into Gyarados, I should have a Gyaradosite. Maybe. Maybe not. I actually don't. Hmm. Welp. <laughs> I don't have a Gyaradosite, so I don't know what I'm going to be doing there. But um, our Magikarp should be able to level up pretty well. Let me see. What kind of items can I give him? um yeah we can just give him another leftovers you can just chill with that right now and i think what we're going to be doing is just going on and taking on the uh, uh our trainers to level them up i mean i could take on our boss friend but we probably wouldn't beat him and i don't want to waste time with him glitching so let's teleport to our training field and let's get this underway all right, now that we're here, let's get this started. Now, I'm pretty sure that uh, Magikarp evolves at level 18. So we're just going to go to that point. Um, I, I would have tried for Zombie Gyarados, but really, in my opinion, not not too much of a point there. Um, at the moment, at least. Here, I guess I'll go for Psychic on one for now. I don't know why I challenged uh, the Fire-type trainer first. Let's see. Oh yeah, without Swamp, or we don't have that uh, going for us anymore. Doesn't matter, I should, should still be able to handle it. Yeah, perfect. Um, Psychic again. Oh, I, he survived Psychic, nice. And then his uh, Mega Blaze can I should be able just to... We'll do his close combat on him just because he is going to be a stronger opponent. He might actually one-shot my Lucario. We'll see. Or my Mega Lucario. Ooh, I was faster. I like that. And take all. Thank you. And Magikarp is level 19. Actually, so we should evolve next uh, thing. All right, let's take on Yuna next. Again, I'm going to Mega Evolve, and I'm going to use my Close Combat, because fighting is super effective to Ice types. All right, that's one down. Magikarp has evolved, it has made it to his thing. He actually is evolving on my screen right now, according to the thing. Do you just see him right there? Magikarp, no, what are you doing? I guess he's preparing to evolve. I don't know if that's a feature now. That might be an actual thing that, like, if they're going to evolve, they kind of throw themselves out and they're waiting until the fight's over. Or he might be glitched, either or. All right, Mega Glalie, let's take you down and... Uh, take, oh, yep, there he goes. Magikarp is evolving. All right, let's see what happened. Dun, 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 dun. That's a big fish. Dun, 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 dun. And there he is. 
Magikarp has evolved into Gyarados. Hello there, Gyarados. So, moves... Tackle, Twister, and Bite. Ooh, interesting. All right. Let's move on. We're not ending this training journey yet. All right, Hound him. So, again, fighting type super effective. And I'm going to use Psychic because I think Psychic's super effective as well. I could be wrong. Um, we'll see. All right, let's go. Use Psychic. So, we'll just do Volatile. Use Psychic doesn't affect. Okay, so it is the other way around. All right, close combat it is. <laughs> All right, Charizard, you're up. Um, I don't know how the heck you're supposed to do this. Shadow Claw wasn't very effective. Yeah, so Dark is the one that has the advantage in that triangle. All right, Flare Blitz it is. Oh, right, he's just going to spam Oblivion. When Mellow out of you're up. Teeter Dance, please. Confused. Perfect. Hurt self with its own confusion. Now let's close combat. Oh, you snarl. Oh, boy. All right, close combat again. Hurt self with confusion. But it's still got the attack off. Great, Rayquaza, you're up. Rayquaza, go with Outrage. He switched to Tyranitar. And now he's mega evolving the Tyranitar. You monster. It's okay, my Rayquaza will still beat you. I'm taller. Yes. Alright, Gyarados is leveled up twice. Rayquaza, I'm going to have you use Overheat on him. Rayquaza's confused. Oh no, Oblivion wins. It's going to keep healing. Overheat. Yes. And critical hit with its, uh, whatever it's called. All right, Dark Cry. Use Dark Void. Yes, that works too. Perfect. All right, now that Dark Void's in effect, I can just knock him down with Incinerate. Yes! That's how you handle that. Oh, and I learned Ice Fang. Nice. Let's give it a splash. Oh, right, he still has his Houndoom. Um... Oh, right, it's like it won't infect him. Dang, I messed up. Uh... Considering it won't affect him either. Alright, Dark Void. I think I missed. Alright, let's try it again. Dark Void. There we go. Um, Shadow Ball? Wasn't very effective. Yeah, that's a problem. And he woke up already too. Uh, incinerate? Wasn't very effective either. Wow, my Dark Cry has not, no moves whatsoever that can actually beat uh, Houndoom. Now let's get you with another Shadow Ball. Our Darkrai lost, so that means all that's left is my Gyarados. Oh, wait, no. Darkrai's still alive. Dark Void, yes! And he woke up. Nice. Oh, no, I still... Wait, what? My Rayquaza is dead. How do I have Ray... Yeah. It messed up there. Okay. Gyarados, uh... Not that you're gonna be able to do it, but Twister. He tried. Alright, let's head home and heal ourselves. Back up. I mean, Gyarados is level 27. He made it pretty far up there. Um, Rayquaza also leveled up, it looks like, so you are now above him on that roster. Um, yeah, Gyarados is getting up there. He He's not exactly the Star Wars warrior we'd want him to be, but that can only mean one thing, though. We need to uh, teach him some moves. We need to get some moves under his belt. So let's grab... Here, let me put all the tools up here so I can uh, grab all these moves real quick. All right, let's go through the list. Uh, Rayquaza. Or not Rayquaza, Gyarados. Uh, first thing is Dragon Rage, which I know you can learn. We'll give her a Twister for Dragon Rage. Uh, Brine, you can learn. Give her a Tackle for that. Grass Knot, no. Psychic, no. Shadow Ball, no. Mega Drain, no. Power Punch, no. All righty. Um, let's grab up the remainder moves. Let's try these. So, Stealth Rock, no. False Swipe, no. Bolt Seed, no. Water Pulse, yes. Uh, Brian's already better though, so we don't need him to learn that. Uh, Wild Charge and Giga Drain. Nope. So that's a big nope for all of those moves. That's okay though, because, uh. Oh, wait, I need this to be here. Do I even need the boat? I suppose I technically do. Alright, where'd that, uh, Charizard go that was just here? He might have already flown off and despawned, but. Yeah, doesn't look like he's here. All right, that's fine. Now, of course, um, Gyarados is going to stick on my team here. We'll actually go and fight the uh, the main trainer, Goku Black, real quick. But um, Gyarados is going to stay on my team until somebody suggests otherwise. So, again, if you don't want Gyarados to be on my team, say, hey, swap out Gyarados for this Pokemon, and it will happen. Otherwise, he's going to stay on my team until the end of time. That being said, let's 
continue our fight against our lovely trainer here. So let's Mega Evolve right into... I'm going to go with an Ice Punch. And then Charizard, I'm going to have you go in for a Flare Blitz, also a Noctowl. We'll see how this works. I'm really hoping... Uh, we can pull this off. Switches to his Gyarados, ironically. And we both hit his Gyarados. Alright, um, next course of action. Let's use close combat on Tentacruel. Charizard. I'm going to have you use Dragon Claw on Gyarados. Oh, Charizard's already out. Alrighty. That's a bit of a pickle. Rayquaza, you're up. Rayquaza. Oh, wait. We're not using Rayquaza yet. Um, we're going to go with Psychic. On Tentacruel. Oh, yeah. He has a Poison type. And then Outrage. Yep. Switched out to Magearna. But Outrage should hurt a lot. Up oh, and... Yep, there goes Rayquaza. Because it's a fairy type. I love fairy types, let me tell you. Um, Gyarados is about to fall, so we'll take him down. Then close combat on Magearna. Yeah, Meloetta and Gyarados both leveled up. Magearna got hit by close combat. What is happening? Magearna, are you okay? Why is it like... There it goes. That was weird. It like got stuck. I couldn't skip the thing. Alright, well. Darkrai and his shiny Zeb Striker. Alright, Darkrai, Dark Void. Um, I'm also going to need just use Close Combat again on Magirna. Dark Void has only hit one of its targets though. Unfortunate. And Meloet is gone. So it's up to his Gyarados. Oh no. All right, Darkrai, you better hope Dark Void hits this time because we're in trouble otherwise. Uh, and then I'm going to use Brine on Magirna. Magirna mustn't be affected by... Oh, Darkrai's gone. Um, so, you guys like... Yeah. Kind of saw that happening. That's fine, though. We're leveling him up. We are leveling Gyarados up. He's 8, 28 now. I could actually... For Excuse me for a second. I have to go catch something. Where is it? Where is it? Legendary Entei spawned the extreme house. Well, of course. Why wouldn't he? Did it happen before or after I teleported? Hmm. It might have been before. I, it might have been, um... Before I teleported. I'm just going to do a once around here. If I don't find him, it's fine. But. He probably is over there. I probably actually despawned him when I teleported. Oh, no, no, no. He's right. Oh, my gosh. That's tiny. All right. Um, Pokeballs. Master Ball, go. And the reason why I'm using a Master Ball on him is because um, we still have one more. Otherwise, I wouldn't have done this. And today's been captured. Woo! Gyarados leveled up from that. Good, and I have one more Entei to add to the... Uh... Oh, wait, no, you can only add two at a time now, I think, to the breeding thing. Um, Let's check his stats, though. Slash IV6. Please don't be 100%. 87. What were my other two? I might not be able to check them if they're... Yeah, they're locked, so I can't check them. Okay. It's fine. Um, another Entei. Wouldn't you know. What I do want to check, though, is how you guys are... How you guys doing over here? How are you... They like each other a bit more every single day. Manage Pokemon. Can I... I can't add another one to him. Machop! What are you doing, Machop? Get out! All right. Well, that was an exciting adventure of an episode. We evolved into a Gyarados, or evolved a Magikarp into a Gyarados. We caught another Entei, being the third one we've caught. Man, this is turning out to be like Pokemon Go with the Entei's, at least. Uh, maybe I should, like, move house. Build, like, a new house and another biome for a while, just to see what legendaries spawn there, since I'm, I'll always be around. But, uh... Alas, that is where we're going to end off today's episode. I hope you all did enjoy. If you did, remember to smash that like button, share your support, subscribe if you are new. And I'll see you all in the next one. Goodbye.